Hi guys, uh, today we're going to be talking to you about Ohm's Law. My name is Logan Henry and I'm going to be your narrator for the day. And also we had special assistance on this PowerPoint slide by James Pomavongsa. So here we go. So today we're going to be talking about what exactly is Ohm's Law. So basically Ohm's Law is the granddaddy equation used in all types of electrical circuits that you're going to learn from your very basis to your more complicated circuits. And what it says is that the potential difference between two points on a circuit is equal to the product, that means multiplication, of the current between those two points and the total resistance of all electrical devices existing between those two points. So basically this sums up the equation to your right that you see on the picture which is V is equal to IR which is voltage is equal to current times resistance. So uh, off to the other side of this you're going to be able to see the different variations that we're going to use to be able to solve maybe some of the practice problems that we look at today but that's just simply using algebra to rearrange that equation. Um, but in the most dumbed down terms of Ohm's law, the greater the voltage that we have, the greater the current that you have. And on the bottom here you see uh, our equation, which is V is equal to IR. Who created Ohm's law? Ohm's law was created by George Simon Ohm. Ohm was born in Erlingen, Germany on March 16, 1789. Later, he attended the University of Erlingen, Nuremberg, starting attendance in 1805. He later received his doctorate degree from this university. After receiving his doctorate degree, he later taught mathematics in local schools while performing many physics experiments in the local labs. Uh, an interesting fact is actually that I found that uh, local schools were not paying enough, him enough, so he went to become a professor so that he could pay for more of his research ideas. Um, later, he actually became a professor first at Jesuits College in 1817, while uh, throughout his career he actually went to several different colleges. <clears throat> Example problem one. Find the current I through a resistor of resistance R is equal to 2 ohms if the voltage across the resistor is 6 volts. So first we're going to substitute R in as 2 and V in as 6 in our Ohm's law equation of V is equal to IR. So this should give us the equation uh, 6 is equal to 2I. So basically what we're going to do here is to solve for i, we're going to divide 6 by 2, leaving us i is equal to 3a, which this means that current is equal to 3 amps in this situation. So um, also a good tool here is if you want to look at the picture over here on the left, we have a good little triangle uh, with our different equations that you can remember whenever solving this problem. Okay, so on example problem two, we're stepping it up a little bit. Uh, we're going to have two resistors here. So in the circuit below, resistors one, R1 and R2 are in, a, in series and have resistances of 5 ohms and 10 ohms respectively. The voltage across resistor R1 is equal to 4 volts. Find the current passing through resistor 2 and the voltage across the same resistor. So on the right, you can actually see our, uh, our circuit over here. We have two resistors, um, so now we're going to get to the solution. So to start off, we're going to use Ohm's law, which is V is equal to IR, uh, to find the current I1, which is the current that passes through the first resistor. So to solve this, we simply, use, simply plug into Ohm's equation and get 4 is equal to 5I1. So, now that we have this, we only have one variable, so we're going to solve for I1. 
for I1 we get 4 fifths. So basically this means 0 0.8 amps. Uh, these two resistors are actually in series, so therefore the same circuit passes through them. So the current through this entire circuit is going to be 0 0.8 amps because they are in series. So now we must use Ohm's law to find the voltage V2, which is the voltage across resistor 2. So to do this, we set it up by saying V2 is equal to resistor 2 times current 2, which we know current 2 is the same as current 1 in this uh, circuit. So solving this, we just get 10 times 0 0.8, and we get uh, voltage 2 across resistor 2 is 8 volts. Okay, so now we're going to example problem 3, which is more complicated than the other two that we've uh, did and we're actually throwing in a parallel circuit here. So in the circuit below, resistors R1 and R2 are in parallel and have resistances of 8 ohms and 4 ohms respectively. The current passing through R1 is 0 0.2 amps. Find the voltage across resistor 2, R2, and the current passing through the same resistor. So as you can see, I posted our circuit over here on the right. We can see how that we have that it is in parallel this time instead of series like the last one. So let's begin. So we use Ohm's law once again, which is V is equal to IR, to find the voltage across V1. <clears throat> so V1 is equal to 8 times 0 0.2 amps is equal to 1.6 volts. So then we're going to find the voltage across resistor R1 and the voltage across resistor R2 are the same because they're in parallel. So we now use Ohm's law to find the current I sub 2 passing through resistor 2. So whenever we solve this, we simply, once again, put V is equal to IR, take what we have, and the only thing that we are left with is to find I2, which is current through uh, resistor 2. So I2 is equal to 1.6 divided by 4, which is equal to 0 0.4 amps. So we're going to end this slideshow off with a few fun facts over the Ohm's law. So the actual first uh, equation that was discovered by George Ohm was x is equal to a over b plus <laughs> i prime, which was uh, if you study it, there's actually several different equations that came from this before the modern version that's actually seemed to be a lot more uh, simple. Uh, the second fun fact is Ohm's findings were actually not accepted at first until many years after he had published his findings. Um, he was actually fired from his uh, professor's job at the time for these research findings because they really didn't agree with these findings. But luckily, he actually did find a job shortly after. Uh, the next fun fact is before Ohm had his studies, a man by the name of Henry Cavendish actually wrote of the voltage is equal to current times resistance relationship. However, it was published many years later after Ohm's work had already been published. So Cavendish actually would have gotten the credit but did not because Ohm's had these published earlier. So that's all I've got. Thanks guys.